Kelvin proposed that particles were um, knots in some fluidic ether. I'm not saying that, but we are considering that what happens when the vortex loops on itself and forms a torus. Okay, so this is a torus with one hole in it is an electron. A torus with two counter rotating holes is a neutrino, according to V theory. And then if a photon were to thread itself around this following a trefoil knot pattern, that itself is a gluon, and that's all we need. Those are our elementary building blocks. We can build the entire standard model of particles. Let's just recap what the standard model of particles are. It's, it's not the periodic table over here, but it's the way you build that. This is what your, your textbooks would say now. Right, so the, the bottom layer, neutrinos, electrons, quarks. Okay, it comes in three generations. So this electron is generation one. Muon, generation two. Tau on, uh, generation three. And then you've got the antimatter versions of them. And then you've got these other particles that behave completely different to these. This whole group here is called fermions. These are called bosons. Standard mod the standard model doesn't explain why, doesn't uh, explain any um, rationale for, for what they are. What does V-theory do? V-theory says, well, there's really only this, this torus and the trefoil knot. The torus is a, a single hole torus, in which case it's an electron, or a double hole torus, in case it's a, in that case it's a very stable particle, the neutrino, and it hardly interacts with anything. But how do we get these extra generations? Well, this over here is when one of the spin vectors has reached its maximum value and it's torn the ether. This one is when two of them have reached their maximum value. This is when three of them reach their maximum value. You can build the entire zoo of particles out of a torus and a trefoil knot that are spinning where, where, where the holes are spinning in different ways. The only particle we can't explain is my alum's particle, the Higgs boson, that rocketed to fame a few years ago. I don't know what they found at CERN, but I don't think it uh, it is the Higgs boson. Don't know what it is. Um, v theory explains that these acquire mass by flying through the ether at less than the speed of light. If the hole's flying through the ether in a low pressure, it would appear to attain mass. So how would it fly in a low pressure? Well, a torus would because it's basically in a low pressure of its own creation. It's in, it's in a rut. Now, neutrinos, however, are hit. The edge is spinning like that. So it would actually, it would actually fly that way at the speed of light. And so you wouldn't see any, it wouldn't appear to have any mass. However, or, or very little mass. If this was a single hole inside this torus, then it would kind of be lopsided. It would be doing something like that. Um, it would be lopsided, and each turn round, there'd be kind of a torque that's also a, a, applied to it. And so I'm guessing, I haven't proved it mathematically, that this torus would execute a spherical shell path. And that's what we observe an electron doing. Okay, so photons actually exert negative gravity. Well, you saw that they were actually pushing space out of their way. They weren't actually, um, yes, the hole will be attracting, but if it's traveling at the speed of light, let's say a photon were to fly past me, I would detect a slight 
push this way. So can we create an experiment on mass, let's say a massive laser beam bouncing backwards and forwards, and I hold a mass here, would it start, would it start to swim? Um, we'd obviously have to make it super sensitive. But can we detect that? That would be a great proof because the standard model does not predict that a photon would exert negative gravity. Okay. If the past is written on the wall of the vortex, can we read it? Wouldn't that be amazing? Don't know how yet, but that would be that would be truly amazing if we could. Um, second generation particles have two temporal dimensions. So a muon actually tears space in two ways. A muon like this has torn space this way, but it's also torn space this way, I think. I'm not sure. No, the hole, the hole is not only spinning that way, the hole is spinning that way and it's torn space in a second dimension. I don't know what it looks like. But you've got two times, and in fact, a tau on this torn space in three dimensions. Um, can we generate gravitons? Imagine if you could, if you could spin up a volume of space, you, you'd have two photons flying apart, you can create a laser. Um, fusion, can V theory provide insight into new ways of containing plasma? Now that we've got an idea of what um, the electric field is and um, it, it's actually coming from rotation I mean that, that if that flow is not me blowing there but the result of these two actually spinning and inducing a flow between that um, that caused attraction opposing opposing flows called, cause repulsion is there a way in which we can uh, you know we, we, we observed that dropping the pressure caused um, particles to travel slower than the speed of light. So mathematically, by increasing the ethereal pressure, can we travel faster than the speed of light? So how would you do that? Now maybe construct the nose cone of a rocket with lasers in front and make use of the positive pressure that's coming from the photons that, that V theory predicts to be the sort of wake in front. I'm not sure if that would work or if the, the other positive pressure on the other side is pushing you back. Don't know. Okay. Um, that'd be like trying to step into a paper bag and pick yourself up. I'm not sure if it's doable. So what's on the to-do list? Um, to-do list for the research team looking for volunteers and we're going to do lots of uh, interesting things in the whole lab sessions and maybe create a website, a Facebook page, YouTube um, channel, paper submissions, great, looking for co-authors, crowdsource a movement to explore it further. I want to thank you for your time. I wonder if the haiku makes any more sense to you now. Okay.